Fetal development and childbirth. What exactly is fetal development and when does it begin? What are its major stages and how childbirth takes place? We are going to discuss each and every point clearly in this video watch till the end. It all begins with fertilization the fusion of sperm and egg. This single cell rapidly divides, forming a blastocyst which is a tiny ball of cells. Blastocyst implants itself into the endometrial lining of the uterus. This is an important step for future development. Weeks 1 to 4 is the time period in which blastocyst forms. Weeks 5 to 8 is the time period for organogenesis in which major organs begin to form, the heart starts beating around week 5. Limb buds begins to grow and brain develops. Weeks 9 to 12 is the period of growth major organs are now established, and the body takes on a more human form. Facial features become recognizable tiny nostrils, eyes, and a mouth begin to shape up. The fetus can even move, although the mother probably won't feel it. The second trimester, from week 14 to week 28, is a period of rapid growth both fetus in length and weight. Major organ systems continue to mature, the lungs begin to produce surfactant, crucial for breathing after birth. By the end of the second trimester, fetal movements are readily felt by mother. The third trimester, from week 28 to birth, is characterized by continued growth organ systems. There are three stages of labor, stage 1 labor is the longest stage and is characterized by the onset of regular contractions. These are usually mild and irregular at first but gradually become more stronger. During this stage the cervix begins to thin out and dilate, typically up to 3 to 6 centimeters. The second stage referred to as the pushing stage. As your baby moves down the birth canal and presses on your pelvic area, you'll feel a strong, often overwhelming, urge to push, this is your body's natural reflex to help move the baby out. The third stage involves delivering of placenta after birth of baby. It's crucial to ensure complete placental expulsion to prevent postpartum hemorrhage. I hope you enjoyed this video, thanks for watching please like and subscribe.